Hello, Tab Nation. Today, I, Tom, am actually not going to be talking about auto hotkeys like I normally do. We're going to branch out a little bit to in a new language for this channel, at least. It came out in 2008, and that is called NIM. has a little crown there as its little logo. Uh, this is a really cool programming language. Uh, it's really designed to be efficient, expressive, elegant, that kind of stuff. Uh, it supports metaprogramming, functionality, uh, message passing, passing, which is really cool. And uh, it's very object oriented. It also works very well with some languages such as C, C++, uh, Objective-C, JavaScript, and really supports uh, compiling into those languages even, which is really cool. So this is the website. Obviously, I'll link that in the description below for you all. So we're just going to do a quick video with uh, how to install it and run our first script. We're just going to do a simple kind of like hello world kind of thing. So you're just going to click here, install NIM, you know, choose what you're using, Windows or uh, like a Linux base. Uh, you can also download it for Apple. That's another thing that's great about this is just that it's pretty much going to work on all major systems for you. So just click that. I already have it downloaded, so we're not going to worry about that. But yeah, you'll get this little folder here. Uh, it comes zipped, so you just got to unzip it. You're going to go in. Quite a lot of stuff in here. Um, but we're really just focusing on this right here, this application called Finish. We're going to double click on that, and we're going to get a command prompt. So the command prompt is going to ask us a few questions here. Um, let me format my screen here to be a little bit more visible for you guys. There we go. So... Uh, it's basically, uh, should it be added permanently? You know, more than likely you're going to say yes, unless you're running on a work computer, maybe. So we're going to just type in Y, enter. Uh, should it be added permanently for the path and environment uh, variable? Once again, we're going to say yes. Oh, we're throwing an error. That's why it keeps asking the same question. That's fine. So we're just going to say yes again, and it finally hit. So as you see, it's going to start doing kind of some stuff here, uh, both in command and in the zip thing, 7-zip or whatever this thing's called, I always forget. So we'll give it a second here. It's pretty quick. If any of you guys have used this uh, language or wanting to learn it, you know, why are you trying to learn it? I want to know in the comments below. I haven't really done much with this except for playing around with it mostly. Uh, you know, why would you use this over a, another language such as like Python or JavaScript or something? What sets this one apart? Um, me, the viewers, pretty much everybody I'm sure has that same question. So yeah, uh, so it did that part. Would you like to add NIM 1.6.4? Obviously that could change in the future to your start menu. I'm going to say no. I don't really want it on my start menu. Oh, Got to refocus there. So I'm going to say no. It's up to you what you want to do there. And there we go. Now we're going to test to make sure it installed correctly. And the way we do that is by opening command prompt. So we're just going to type in NIM, press enter, and we should get a bunch of whole bunch of information here like you see here. Now, there is a very strong chance this will not work because it didn't quite install correctly. Uh, I've seen probably about 50% of the people installing this. It says command not recognized. So if that happens, here's what you need to do. You go to this folder wherever you installed it. I just have it on my desktop for the sake of the video. Uh, but obviously you can put it wherever you want in your program files, you know, whatever, System32 if you want. I don't, I don't care. Um, we're going to click on the bin folder here, and we're looking for this right here, which is an executable application right here. It has the picture of the crown, and it's just called NIM. We're going to right-click on that. We're going to click Properties, and we need the location path right here. So we're just going to highlight that whole thing. We're going to do control C, or you can right click, push copy to each his own, however you want to do it. We don't need this anymore. We don't need this anymore. And now we're going to go to our start menu and type in the word edit. And we want to open the edit system controls. Wait, is that what it's called? 
yeah, in system environment, sorry. Edit the system environment variables. So you get this little system properties menu here. And we're going to go to this lonely button down here at the bottom, environmental variables. And then we're going to be looking for path. Now, if for some odd reason you do not have path on your computer, just click uh, new and just name it path with a capital P. I'm not sure if that really matters, but uh, that's how the system defaults it. So probably best to do that. We're going to click edit. And right here, we're going to push new. And we're just going to paste in that stuff we copied, which is just the path to that executable file. Click out of it. You know, it looks good. We're going to push OK. You know, we're done here. We'll push OK, and then we'll push OK. And then make sure you close out your old command prompt because it needs to be a fresh one, or it'll still say that same thing. And you just type in nim again, and you should get this. And that is how you install NIM. If you have any questions or kind of run into any problems that I didn't explain, that's really the most common issue I've found with installing this is just that it doesn't put that path file there very well. Uh, just let me know in the comments below. And now we're gonna jump over into checking out how to write our first script, which will just be a simple hello world. All right, let's pull up Notepad++. You can obviously use whatever you want. I just use Notepad++ because it's easier for these videos. I think it kind of looks better. Now, I don't really have any formatting or syntax highlighting, I guess you would call it, uh, for NIM yet. If you guys know of a pre-existing one that's built for Notepad++, definitely let me know in the comments below. I'm lazy and hate creating my own, especially because usually there's already at least a few out there. So let me know what the best one you think is that you've already used. Now, before we write our first Hello World, I just want to point out something here that I thought was really uh, a great way to explain NIM. Uh, NIM was created to be a language as fast as C, as expressive as Python, and as extensible as Lisp, if you ever used that. Most people were pretty familiar with at least C or Python, um, just to kind of explain really why this programming language is very good to use. Uh, in order to comment out any comments that you might want to put in there, you're just going to use, depending on what generation you're from, hashtag or pound sign or whatever you call it. And that's just going to create a comment that's not going to run, basically, when you run your program. So Hello World is very simple. It's just a single line of code. Uh, it's going to be echo in auto hotkeys. That's kind of like send and a lot of other languages that's print. In NIM, uh, which is going to be echo, and in parentheses, we're just going to type whatever we want, which for this video is just hello world. We're going to go ahead now and save this script. We're going to name it hello world, and it's going to be .nim. That is the extension for NIM. We're going to make sure this just says save as type, just create it as all types, and then I'm saving it to my desktop. Obviously, save it wherever you need it. I'm going to push save. That is now on my desktop. Let's go find that. Move that on over. So there is our hello world NIM file. We're going to go ahead and open up a command prompt, or you can do it from the prompt or the console of NIM. I'm just going to use command prompt. There's various ways you can do this. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Now, the first thing we need to do in command prompt is we need to point it towards the desktop since that's where the script is. So easy way to do that is just click on properties, right click, click properties, and just copy the file path here for location. And then we're gonna type in CD space, paste that uh, path there, push enter, and it's now pointing at my desktop, which is what we want. And obviously all this will be in the code or the description below, all the code will be down there, uh, just so you can copy and paste if you need. So here's what we're going to use in command prompt to run. I'm going to copy this. So we're doing NIM that's saying, you know, use NIM. Uh, you know, we want to run it. Uh, so we're going to compile it first. Then we're going to do dash R, which runs it. Our verbus D is going to be at zero. And then the name of the actual file, which as you saw was just hello world.nim. So I just copied and pasted that whole thing over into command prompt. It's going to look like that. It's targeting my desktop. And I'm going to go ahead and push enter. And it's being a little slow just because we are compiling it. Um, you know, and it's a simple script, so 
there it was pretty fast, but if your script's a little bit longer, it might take a little bit longer if you're compiling like I did. And when you compile, you just get this right here in application. And as you see right there, it says hello world in command prompt. And so that is how to install NIM and how to write our first script. If you guys enjoy this stuff, it's a language you're really interested in me maybe diving in a little bit deeper. I can, you know, definitely let me know what you're looking for. I'll probably do some very basic intros. My next one will probably just kind of be on basic like if commands, if s, if s, ugh, can't talk right now, if, else if, if, that probably be my next video if that's something you guys are interested in or if there's you know you want to learn about variables or whatever just let me know in the comments below and i will see you guys on the next nim or other video that you watch have a great day